Okay, so an array also con uh, can, doesn't have to contain the same type of number, uh, of item, my bad, or type of value. You know, we're used to having arrays of one thing, like one type of thing, like for example, an array of cars, and it's always gonna be a bunch of uh, strings, you know, like Toyota. Toyota, and then Ford, and then Chevy. So basically, that's an array of strings. But what if, because that's possible, I have arrays with mixed values. So like 42 through towel, and then an array within an array, and then a string, you know, like, it can be so many things. All the, da the, the values in JavaScript that are like six data types, string, integer, um, oh, not integer, my bad, number, string, number, um, array, uh, null, undefined, boolean, uh, it's like seven or six uh, or eight data types that we have in, in, even functions can be there, but that's very uh, deep. So let's not get into that one. So yeah, you can have mixed values here. And here, the purpose of this exercise is actually showing you that, that you can have mixed values. If I if I console.log this, you'll see that it's gonna print the mix of values right there. You're gonna see a weird thing in the ear. You're gonna see it super weird because it's a bunch of things. Uh, so that's the first thing about the exercise. And the second one is that you can, we wanted to show you that you can actually see the types of those values by using, for example, if I have, if I have an, uh, a variable called name that contains my name or my Twitter username, let's say, then I can console.log the type of name and it will actually tell me, uh, actually it's type of, type of name and it will con actually console log the type of the name. So the name is, oops, I put, I put it's type of, yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's a string, you see? But if name, it's not a string, let's say that I do it with age, right? Age, so let's say 35, age. And I print this, uh, well, I haven't printed it. Let me do it, there it is, print. It's, oh my bad, I, I didn't print the type. Type of, the type of age, it's gonna be a number. You see, it's a number. If this would be a boolean, so is old, let's say false, and I print is old, then it's a boolean. So if you use type of, you would be able to loop the original array create a new one, and then on every loop, get the type of the item using the type of function, and then add it into the new array. So basically, you'll do something like this. Again, this is already boring. It's like always the same thing, right? Ledge i equals zero as long as i is less than mix dot length, semicolon i plus plus, and then you start typing. So now we're looping the entire array. So what do we want to do? Oh, we want to create a new empty array. Okay, so let's do it. Let um, types, let's call it array of types equals to an empty array. And then since the type of function returns a string, you should call push. Uh, yeah, so we need to basically push, right? So let's, let's do it like that. Let's push to the array of types. Let's push type of item right but we don't have item yet so let item it's equal to mix in the position i just remember about that we've been doing in the other exercises as well so i'm gonna print the type of item and then print and it's undefined basically it's undefined because the console log is supposed to be at the end so let me put it here array of types and there it is number boolean string object string number object so that's this mix here let me see if it works it works Woohoo!